Do you want to make a lot of money on Roblox Islands? Well, today in this video, I'll be covering exactly how to do that. Welcome back to Room of Roblox. Let's get into the video. Item flipping on public servers. This may take a lot of hard work on your part, but it will definitely pay off in the long run. We all know that you need to bargain and heckle a lot when you are trying to sell items on public servers because people are really willing to pay a good price since they have so many options. To set this up, you need to set up the vending machine and then find players who can buy things. As you know, a gamer's finances are displayed on their profile, so you can gauge the kind of market you have. If all the players you have on your server have money in the thousands, then you should definitely get a new server when players have at least a couple million coins in their pocket. This will ensure minimum bargaining because if someone can simply not afford the items in your list, they will start to heckle you and accuse you of overpricing. Therefore, one of the most important things to keep in mind when dealing with a public server is to build the right target market so you don't have to face issues in the future. Lens that have potentially marketplaces. So I'm connecting one of these randomly and we'll see what kind of um, shop that they have. So you can ask them if they have because you are on this person's server, right? But you can see they, they have title spell books and you can see how much they're selling them for. But what you could do is you can ask the owner of this island. Selling donated items. If you are a content creator, then this is probably number one on your list. This is a very easy way to earn extra coins when you are in need of cash because you don't really need to do anything. And if you don't have to have millions of followers, then you don't need to worry because this heck is for everyone. Just keep a really close eye on any Roblox YouTubers who are doing giveaways or sending out free items as gifts and lucky draws, and be sure to try out your luck at every one of them because you never know what may or may not work. Lots of players have won rare items that were donated or gifted to them by other rich players, and they immediately sold those off in the trading centers for really high prices. The reason why this is one of the best hacks out there is because you don't need any initial investment on your part, that you are earning money by selling an item you didn't pay for. Hire more peeps to destroy my plot. Hire some peeps to destroy my plot. Okay, you got it. All right, so I will hire some peeps. <laughs> At least it was, got tagged. Dude, look at this. It's so destroyed, dude. Um, yeah, this is pretty bad. Super rare items. Wouldn't it be amazing if you had that one collectible item that everyone wants? Selling super rare items may be the oldest trick in the book, but it never fails. For example, having the purple Firefly jar can actually earn you up to 10 billion coins. The legendary food processor is also fondly remembered by players as causing a new rush in the market because it quickly became the special toy that everyone wanted, which hiked its prices up to 100 million coins. All in all, if you're looking for ways to make a quick buck, then selling rare items should definitely be up your go-to option. But beware of all the scammers out there, as most of the cheating takes place during these deals because there is no way to know if your opponent is dealing in bad faith. Be sure it's not even worth selling uh, at the mechanic. I'm pretty sure you could sell it to people for a way, way larger price item, because and you can get a lot more coins or even like other materials from trading for it because the amount of time, like I said, guys, the amount of capitalizing your chances. This way has been in the shadows for a while and we can't believe gamers out there are not maximizing this genius hack to get rich within seconds. The way to do it is very easy, simply capitalize on the updates that the game offers on the very first day it comes out instead of waiting a while. You should always be on the lookout for new updates because there are a lot of coins up for grabs. A player reportedly made 500 million on a blueprint that is currently valued at just a mere price of 120,000. The best part is there is no limit to how much you can make, and on lucky days, gamers have even gone as far as to make 2 billion coins in one day. All you need to do is be smart about all the dealings and make sure that you are investing in the right project, so what are you waiting for? It's because uh, there's some pretty cool secrets that, 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 that I think they'll be pretty cool for a video, but that's not what we're focusing on. We're going to focus on how you guys can get multiple of these trophies. Mass flipping. Now that we've gotten to the most popular methods out of the way, let's focus on some of the more backhand tradings that go on that a lot of people have no idea about. Mass flipping on Discord channels is a huge market just waiting to be harvested for its profits. You must be 13 years of age to use it, but it's definitely worth the wait. Discord is the epicenter of trading, and many players have started their careers in trading here from a few small items to winning in the big leagues. Traders usually buy items in bulk at a discounted price, and then sell these off to other people on the servers as individual collectibles and charge hefty amounts. If you were willing to buy all 1,000 star free seeds from someone, why wouldn't they want to pay you back by giving you good odds? After you collected all your goods, lay down for a couple of days and then go back to Discord to sell your goods. This may work even better when the good you have is in short in the market, which leads you to building a monopoly over that item while it's out. Roblox Islands can definitely be categorized as one of those games that can keep you entertained for hours because you become so interested in earning money. It's definitely one of our favorites too because we believe the lessons it teaches about trading and dealing with potential customers also comes in handy outside the gaming world. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.